We're recording? Yeah, we're oh, shit. Oh, all right. Uh, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the podcast. I'm Eric Z. Try bartender. The sun guy lives. All right, just for you those listening, it is 10-10. The Bears are 3-2 and two this week. Just getting off a victory against the Panthers. 10-36. The Bears are third in the NFC. Jaguars coming up. How are you guys feeling? Uh... I'm feeling good, man. It was a good game to watch. It was good. It was a, we like, at least, you know, in the sports community, those are called like the get right games, you know, kind of like get your offense going, get your defense. Well, defense has been solid the whole time around. I think they haven't allowed more than 21 points in the last seven games dating back to last year. But for the offense, this was a get get right game, you know, kind of DJ Moore showed out, which we were lacking. Uh, DeAndre Swift continued to be good and Caleb so again, Williams it's just uh, yeah, Caleb, Caleb Williams, or as we like to call him amongst ourselves, Caleb, Caleb Brimbor. Shout out to uh, all of our the Lord of the Rings fans hopefully from. One day. <laughs> shout out to all of our Lord of the Rings fans. Yeah, maybe it's just like you know we'll go from the Bear Claw to like the Lord of the Rings Bear Claw. Yeah, like the Thanos glove. Ooh, Ooh five, yeah, six power. Jesus, yeah, that'd be dope. Caleb with the I'm the excited, glove, man. Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good game again. You know. It, it, it was a, you know, we did the right thing. We beat up on a team that we should have rightfully beat up on. Bullied them. You know, ravaged by injuries. We, you, you know, our offensive line looked fucking amazing. Which, oh, man. The defense know, looked amazing. They all looked amazing. Again, we'll, we'll see how, you know, as we progress in the season and we start getting into those NFC North matchups. Oh, yes. How things look. Uh, but I, I liked the game. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. You know, it was, it's been a I want to see them score more. Bears game. I feel like they, they took the pedal off the metal in the second half a little bit, you know, kind of eased up. But I would like to see them close those games out and just, like, you know, go for the throat. Go for the jugular. Kill, kill teams. Just blow them out. Win the winnable games and, you know, be in the games that you have more difficulty with. Defense will keep you in there. I hope uh, this doesn't sound out of pocket, but Bears fans, by, uh, by large, are a very fickle bunch. We uh, give in the doom and gloom a lot. It feels good to be a Bears fan this week. I mean, I, I would say it, it feels right. good to be a Bears fan this year. Yeah. You know, you, we, weren't, we didn't know we were getting again. with Caleb Williams, but so far so good, man. I'm, I'm excited for the future. And whatever we do this year, it, it is what it is, man. It's just I want to see the young man grow. Uh, I want to see next year getting into some, like, offensive line protection for the young man. Uh, Bill Murray, not the actor. Bill uh -huh. Murray... Uh, Got, we poached him off the practice squad from New England. One of our new linemen could be, you know, deceptively good or someone that has a good kind of like strong presence on that O line. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of him and Kramer and see what they do in protecting Caleb Williams. Now that you say it, I want to see a sketch where Bill, where, uh, Bill Murray is like on a sideline trying to get in the game. Yeah. Put me in, coach. Yeah, I feel like he can do that. Bill Murray yeah. as Bill Murray, yeah. the offensive lineman. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Saturday Night Live, where you at, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, pay me. <laughs> Original ideas. Why are we here on KFTV? Night Night. I mean, I, I don't know if we can afford Bill Murray or what his uh, appearance <laughs> fee is, but if we can finagle that, definitely garnish we'll a lot of fans our way. A Bill Murray... Uh, Pasta. We'll get our legal department to finesse him to Bill show Murray up. Look, yeah. He's like, is this for a kid's birthday party? Is this a cancer event? What do you guys Yes. <laughs> These yes. are 40-year-old kids. They're, they're kids, right? They're sick. <laughs> look at them. Real sick. Down with the sickness, these guys. I mean, got the Jaguars up next. Right. Another uh, team that's kind of down in the dumps. One in three. Uh, Trevor Lawrence has struggled a bit this year. They've got their first victory this past weekend. Uh, otherwise, it'd be 0-4. I don't remember who they beat last, but um, I think it was someone in their division. I don't remember. But uh, it was a team that they were not supposed to beat. The Colts. Mm. They beat the Colts. Uh, you know, they had a couple of injuries on the Colts. Their running back, I think, was out after a couple of plays. So, Or I don't think he played at all. So, I mean, whatever. But we'll see what the Jaguars bring. Um, out in London... Out in London, man. Nine thirty a.m. start game time. Across the pond, across the bloody old pond. Only on a, what is that? A NFL Network. Oh bummer. 
But, you know, we'll, 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 we can work around that. Maybe, you know, if I were going to give us some sponsorship, we will be more than down to critique all of your games on the little marquee minute. Jacksonville Jaguars <laughs> versus the Chicago Bears. I hope the I hope the soccer hoodie can show Where off for that and rep the Bears. Tottenham Stadium. Okay. Yeah, Tottenham I was gonna say it's at Tottenham. Stadium. I think that's, that's like nice. an hour and a half outside of London. Yeah, I don't think it's uh very close. Our, uh, I mean everything's very close. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, our English fans are gonna be really upset with you saying that. Don't oh, say that. <laughs> come on, it's like smaller than the state of Texas. Oh, <laughs> ouch. Hey, but their fandom is bigger than any fandom in that's Texas. I would true. say. You know, that's true. Because I would say, Texans you know, no, no, not necessarily a knock, but they just got so many goddamn teams out there, you know? Yeah. They got like four football clubs. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm excited, man. I, I'm, not, I'm not excited for having to wake up that early, but uh, wow. anything will get me out of bed to watch a Bears game, man. Yeah. You're going to get some bangers and mash and uh, crack open a Newcastle bangers, or what? Beans and I would mash. say a Boddington's, you know? Ooh. More of a Boddington's guy than Newcastle. Ever since Newcastle came out on that, like, do not drink list. Carcinogen danger. I stopped drinking that real wow, quick. Wow, Newcastle, it tastes great. I mean, yeah, it, it tastes great, but there are other brown ales that I think I enjoy a little more. It is what it is, I mean. To each their own. Comment no knock below. on Newcastle. Comment below if there's any English fans out there who really love the Bears. Oi! I feel like there's probably a lot more other fans but we'll Raiders. see. <laughs> I will say Bears fans do travel well. There's a lot of there's a lot of Raiders fans in Mexico. You know, and I, and I can only imagine there's lots of uh, expats living out there that may be Bears or just right. you know whatever. Ooh, ooh, More ooh, so than ooh, Jacksonville. Ooh, ooh. Jacksonville's just such a new team, you know. And I just don't see Floridians moving over to Jack London. Um, also, thoughts Jack and prayers Walls. to those in Florida who are dealing with a massive hurricane. Ah, yes, yes. yeah, man. I actually saw the uh, the roof of uh, wow. where the Marlins play. I think it is got like completely torn off. Holy uh, shit! And that's where the first responders were like kind of staging their like first response. So that's like, insane. where did the first responders stay for the first responders? You know, it's a unfortunate situation. Yes. Uh, predictions. Shouts and prayers. Predictions. Uh. Fuck, man, I, I'm going to say Bears 35, Jaguars 20. Hmm. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. Eric? Jaguars 7, Bears Thirty-five. <laughs> hey man, that score's already taken. I'm, I'm gonna do thirty-six ten. Are we also doing that? Or <laughs> we, you could block me with that because you already did. No, he did thirty-five twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I, that's being generous. Let me. You know what? Thirty-five seventeen. I'm doing a thirty-six ten. Okay. Thirty-five seventeen. I'm giving the Jaguars too much credit. That's true. And not enough credit to our spectacular defense. It, they're going to be dealing with the, the English climate, the jet lag. That's the one thing I'm worried about. But so are the Jaguars. Yeah, I'm worried about but that. But they're worried about like, their families out in Florida. Yeah. Also, Tottenham's open air. Oh, yeah. yeah. Colder probably what's, right now. Yeah, what's the weather like over there right now? I think it's on median with Chicago weather because okay. I think we're on the same line of uh, latitude. If we if Or we latitude, could, sorry. Uh, let's look that up just, you know. But I think it's very similar to Chicago weather. I, I don't know if the hurricane is affecting anything at all. I know we got some yeah. storms. Um, I mean, last was like two weeks ago. We got some of that like remnants from the old hurricane. Yeah. Um, so who knows? Maybe this is we messing felt, it up. We felt that the strong winds all the way over here. Yeah, that's that's crazy to think about the fact that that's like thousands of miles away, and like we had remnants of that. Yeah. Hit. Chicago. It is about well, ten degrees like cooler. All the actually. way in here. Ten degrees cooler than Chicago right now. Huh. Oh, you know, some light rain. Yeah. They got some rain cloud. It's about the same. Uh, Sunday, it's uh, what is it going to be? It's supposed to be eleven. Partly cloudy. Eleven with Celsius. A chance of meatballs. And uh, Sunday in Chicago. Partly cloudy with a chance of jaguar bits. 
<laughs> there you go. Sunday in Chicago. Eh, a few degrees. A few degrees warmer. We're, I mean, running, we're a little warmer here. Chicago Marathon this weekend, so. Are you running? Hopefully, you? no. I mean, I don't. The only thing I run for them is responsibilities. Responsibilities, but <laughs> commitment. Oh, shit. Commitment. Definitely not in uh, physical marathons, but. <laughs> Uh, should be exciting, you know. It, it's kind of a shit show, to be honest, if you live in Chicago, because everything is like blocked off in one way, shape, or form if you're headed towards kind of the meat, like the heart of the city. But a lot of tourism, you know, one of the bigger marathons in the country. That brings a lot of people over to our, our humble city of Chicago. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, final numbers came out for the NASCAR revenue this year hmm. 1.3 billion in extra revenue oh, wow. nice. towards That's the good. you know that means like hotel sales bar sales wow. concession stands uh that's what they estimated now i want to know where's that money going who gets that money pockets you know what i mean um oh uh mayor's visit to the london to watch the bears is he yes yeah. yes he said he, uh, he was going to go to london to watch the bears yeah. Yeah. interesting is that where our taxpayer dollars are going he was uh he was asked and he felt personally slighted uh mentioned that it was kind of an offensive question i don't see how that's an offensive question as an elected public leader I, yeah but yeah you know, that's just me you know you take a public figure job you're kind of publicly scrutinized and speaking if you of, can't uh, answer the basic of questions it's yeah it, it, it raises more questions speaking of uh these football stadiums that these football teams are going to be playing at uh Chicago Fire names ex-USA coach Greg Berhalter as a new head coach and sporting director. Oh, That's yeah. a good move. To replace Heights and to replace Klopas. That's yeah. a good move, man. That is a good move, unifying it to one position. That that I feel that old. That's. I the mean, move. I don't even think that's the good move. Just it's, like, uh, well, that yeah. He's a pedigree coach. Yeah, he was just he can't. He's coming from uh, a bad season, twenty twenty four, with the U.S. But otherwise qualified for the twenty twenty two World Cup with uh, the six years he was at the US. Did he get let go right now? National squad. Yeah, he got let go. Uh he got let go. I uh, mean what was his final record as like a uh, overall record? Uh forty four, yeah, well, 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 seventeen, thirteen. Okay, cool. I mean that's that's that's, that's decent, that's, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean for the fire it's, it's it's what else can they ask for, you know? Um it's the path towards better things, I think they're calling it. That's like the promotion, the path towards greater things mm -hmm. or something. And that's and, uh, a good pickup, man. And, and I, I, he's a good coach. They you know? uh, they do need like a uh, a new makeup, a uh, new a new attitude. Uh, I, I wish them well. Definitely, they definitely need a big turnaround. Uh, a a little bit of a rebrand. Uh, Burr Halter's here to be that guy, you know. Bulls are in. Uh, Preseason, they had a game two nights ago. Or sorry, last night against the Cavs. Hmm. Uh, they look decent. You know, I mean, it's the first of all. You know, everything in the preseason, you gotta take a little bit with a grain of salt. You know, guys aren't going hard out there. It's mostly just kind of like get get back into complete form and get used to game time minutes and game time scenarios and stuff. But who knows? I mean, they're kind of st stuck in this weird like basketball purgatory <laughs> not quite good enough to you know really make an impact in the playoffs and not quite bad enough to you know draft high speaking of starting seasons the blackhawks are on tomorrow at seven uh, regular season opening regular season opening Hell yeah. against winnipeg let's go hawks yeah they uh they won their last preseason game against st louis so uh a series of losses there but hopefully they uh they turn this thing around i mean they're young they're going to be fun to watch. Um, similar to Caleb Williams, I want to see some growth from some of their younger players and take the next step forward, learn how to play with each other, you know, have hey. the coach solidify the lines. Yeah, yeah. All that good stuff. We're starting off with a loss on, on, against Utah 5-2 in our last match, but we'll see what we can turn around with Winnipeg tomorrow. Again, it's preseason. Wasn't Winnipeg like in the... No, Final no, four last year? I think they were, man. I think Winnipeg was one of, or was it? No, it was the, Utah whoever has the. is the Utah Hockey Club. The, uh, whoever has the whale as their logo. Oh, my God, who is that? Who the? Ottawa Senators.
Toronto Maple Leafs. Not the Canucks. Oh, the Canucks. Canucks. The Canucks. Ah, yes. The Canucks. Duh. I think Canuck actually means like whale or some shit. I think really? So, yeah. I just know that word from when Spider Man calls Wolverine like, Knucklehead. Knucklehead. <laughs> Utah Hockey Club is their first, uh, first year this season. What? First Eugene year in the league, the yeah. NHLs? They don't really have a... They're just Utah Hockey Club right now with a baby blue and dark I mean, blue. I think they're yeah. going to get a name. I would hope so. The Avalanche already exists. Other than that, would probably be decent um, for them. They've won their first game, so that's... They beat, they beat, they beat the Blackhawks. Would you say the two? Utah Mountains? The Utah Canyons? The Glaciers. Glaciers. The Utah Glaciers. When's their inaugural game against the Blackhawks? I mean, can they be called the Utah Whitecaps? Yes. There's an MLS team called the Whitecaps. What about uh, the Blues to go with their basketball team, the Jazz? <laughs> Even though it has nothing to do with That would be dope. <laughs> so then jazz. should this be like the Utah Rock and Roll? Ooh. <laughs> the Utah Sax. The Utah R&B. Oh. <laughs> Well, no, it's got to be like a music genre because, right. you know, not sax is like an instrument. Yeah. It just both. sounds like sax. Yeah. The Utah Sax Hockey Club. Utah Sax. That's going to get them confused. Well, let's just hope they're not the things. Commanders, the Utah Commanders. <laughs> like, get out of here. <laughs> One of the worst names in all of everything. <laughs> oh, my God. But whatever. T Strong. <laughs> Commanders, bro. Uh, Commanders. We didn't confirm this on the last one, or we didn't acknowledge it, I mean. But the Sox have officially gotten the worst loss record. Uh, I think they were at, was it 40, 121 losses? That was correct. 121 losses and 42 wins. Wow. Well, let's just give them a round of applause, everybody. The White Sox. <laughs> World's smallest violin. You guys can't see it, but they can cry me a river talking about building a new stadium. Get the fuck out of here. Can't even build a team. Crazy. No, no chance. And uh, you know, did we didn't we just like give them a new stadium like 30, 40 years ago? Yeah, it's a perfectly good stadium. One of the best. It's consistently ranked as one of the best ballparks. And I just I don't understand why Jerry wants a new one. The old one was fine. I guess he's you know he's not not content with getting one free stadium. He wants a second one. You think the so? first one wasn't good enough. If they're not winning, change the stadium. Yeah, that, that's yeah. Good one, Jerry. They're not doing well enough? Change the stadium. Change the stadium. They're going to change themselves to the Nashville White Sox. Oh, oh man. I Maybe the fire just needs to change I the heard stadium. they're building a stadium out there. Not the White Sox, but Nashville is building a stadium. For the White Sox? Unknown. Oh, they just want to attract a team. Whether that be, you know, maybe the Nashville soccer team needs an actual stadium. Maybe they're playing, like, at the football college stadium of somebody. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, shout out to our Nashville listeners. Uh, better luck with the White Sox than what we had. Ouch. Although I hope you never get them. And I hope. No, oh, I can't. Oh, I would like them to stay. I keep I'm, saying, I'm I keep saying, kidding. I want Jerry to die, but. Oh. <laughs> I don't want Jerry to die, but I do, but I don't. So I'm just not so. Jerry, just too. relax. You have just, so yeah, much calm money. Down. Just, like, just retire. Please. Let the professionals do their job. You have a lot of money. You've earned it. You can make more. You're the bigger man. You're you're better than Jordan. Or guess what? Just sell the team. You're already a bajillionaire. Better than Jordan. Better than Jordan. You own two teams. You are Jordan. You are. In his mind, he thinks he is. I am Jordan. He thinks he fathered Jordan. I'm just going to stop wearing Jordan. I'm going to wear Eric Jerry's now. He cloned Jordan. He cloned Jordan. He's like Emperor Palpatine. (laughs) He's like, I gave birth to him through the forest of the dark side. Jordan is like... (laughs) Basketball. Um, Play you, sir. Uh, no. Uh, what's her? What's the uh, Anakin? The latest heroine? Oh, Ray. 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 The latest heroine, Black Tar. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with Black Tar. We don't condone the use of. <laughs> please don't. Narcotics. Please don't use narcotics, everyone. At least not those approved by the FDA. You you need the natural stuff. <laughs> Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Dylan Gunther <laughs> scores twice. Motherfucker. Well, you know, it's a long season. Got a lot of games to go. 
awesome. And again, I just I just want to see them the young core start to meld, mesh, play together, mm -hmm. have a little more fun. I want Caleb to be here for the next ten years. Caleb Brimmore. Caleb Brimmore, the Lord of the Rings. I sure hope so. King of the North. King, King of, of the, the North. North. I mean, it, we, we we need to win these games so that when we start playing our division, we're we're in the best possible spot, you know, clicking on all cylinders and sorry, firing on all cylinders, clicking. And if your cylinders are clicking, you need to go to an auto repair shop. Uh, go to the dealership. Yeah. Go to the dealership. Yeah, yeah. Get a manufacturer's sure. warranty. Yeah. Defect. Also, any recalls? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Recall. You'd be surprised. That shit works. They'll hook you I mean, up. Not that it works. They have to fix it. Oh, yeah. There's a known problem in all, there's a known defect in all their vehicles. Die, motherfucker. From some die, manufacturing die. thing that they didn't do correctly. They got it. Have what you guys we? seen the new half bake? I, I have. have. I actually okay. have, yeah. I well, did it come out this year? Or why is it all this buzz about it? That's probably why. 2024 yeah. for uh, release of okay. the stream. I caught it recently. It's surprisingly good. I, yeah, I wasn't sure if it, it was like um, something that just came around to me or it's it a came strange out sequel. It's, not, it's, not, it's, uh, yeah, it's a direct sequel. It's uh, a sequel to something well, where it, I feel like it doesn't even need to be a sequel. Don't, don't say it's a direct sequel because that's ambiguous. and right, it's right. a It's a sequel, but it happens like 18 years later yeah. down the line. It's very open. It's very. Um, it stands on its own. Yes. Now you can watch it. Now I have watched the originals. I guess it's a good movie. It's, I like this movie. It's good. You know? I felt like it was an action comedy like sequel to what was just like a weed comedy. Yeah, it's a weed action comedy sequel to a weed comedy. I, I felt like they did some things good and they did some things bad. Definitely bad. Um, some things. And it, you know, it's up to you. I would recommend you watch it and you enjoy it, for, or don't enjoy it. But ju I just recommend everyone watches it, gives it a honest chance. Yeah. And don't expect the original. Yeah. No. It, it almost works the, better if you don't. Of, yeah. Parts of that are, were were a little jarring to me. Yeah. I'm almost interested to see the people that have never seen the original half page, okay. which Ooh. honestly is a large yeah. portion of the population now what their reaction to this as a standalone would be. I would want to know if... Uh, Some of those original jokes <clears throat> they try to push off are a little too forced, and that's what... But would you know it's it? forced if you've never seen the first one? No. It's true, you wouldn't. It would be the first time you see the joke. Right. Fuck. Would it seem funny? I would, I would say, yeah. Or would it seem played out? Or, like, would it seem a little obvious? Shit. I, I wonder what uh, I want to see that. I wonder if what anyone? Dave or Neil Brennan think about it if they That's know about true. it. I don't know. Jim Brewer. Yeah, what would so you, Jim, yeah, Jim Brewer? No, Jim Brewer did not come out in it, but uh, no. um, Harlan Williams. Harlan. Kenny. Yeah, Harlan is the Kenny. one that came out in it. Uh, in my opinion, I think he's reprising his role, but he, I don't know. Hard to say. I think he is. I feel like he's the same he says, character. He possibly. says a reference. He says a yeah. direct reference to I it. I mean, he mentions, yeah, he, yeah. And anything but, could have happened in between those years yeah, where, you don't know. where he ended up there. Yeah. Is it like the, or the gym teacher? Yeah. Gym teacher. It's, 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 yeah, for sure. Watch it, guys. Just watch yeah. it. Comment. Give us your um, thoughts. We would love to hear your feedback on this. It's engaging enough to keep you watching. Very controversial opinion amongst <laughs> the funny. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, got some weird community. overtone. It's, it's an unnecessary sequel that doesn't feel so bad watching. They like, say, yeah. "Oh, I could enjoy this." It's definitely enjoyable. Uh, that was, it was a good movie. I I I I have mixed feelings. I wouldn't say it was a good movie. It was good. It was enjoyable. It's an enjoyable movie. It's a good weed movie. I'll There's a lot. There, I'll tell you what. I'll, you know, I will say this: that weed scene is probably the most realistic weed scene in a movie I've seen. Probably to date, where it's like, yeah, that's kind of very good, like representation of a weed experience. Might you know maybe adding like some alcohol. They don't. Show, I don't know if they show that directly, but you know, just like a weed session. You you could fill in the blanks and guess yeah. what it was. Yeah. I will yeah. say this: it's not on streaming, but it's better than some of the shit 
quality wise, just quality wise, mm -hmm. than some of the shit I've seen on Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah, the way it's shot, it does look like it almost feels like you're watching a Transformers movie in certain parts, like the way it just looks yeah. and the the colors and everything and the the lighting. But uh, it, then it's got like that whole like it's trying to be a big one. So the tone's a little out there, but it's it's worth watching. It's just you, regardless the quality of it. It's a it's. The production on it is very well done. Like yeah. it, it's seamless, it's smooth. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like the clunkiness in it is like the acting. Or like the for us, the trying Shout so out. hard to like be the original half baked. Ah, yeah. That felt clunky. Like they almost felt like obligated to be It didn't flow. Yeah. It was not flowy. It like felt like forced. forced. Uh, um, it was actually the unfunny parts. But you know, <laughs> Watch it for yourself, guys. I, I'd like, honestly, all the feedback I can get. I mean, Half-Baked 1 wasn't even really appreciated until years after the fact, too. It was a cult classic. If you watch it, we'll get you a shot of Malort. Ooh, huh. nice. I don't think we can legally do that, but, you know, if you're 21 <laughs> and over. Find us at a bar. Ask and, us about and it. And please, someone start working on the, the Biblica. Someone. Produce please, it. yeah. That, that's, what, that's what we really want. Yeah, Let's we be need some Biblica. The Biblica, we want to smoke the... We the, want the Biblica. The Holy Trinity. El, la Trinidad... El, how do you say Holy Trinity in Spanish? Sagrada? Trinidad. Sagrada Trinidad? Trinidad. Yeah. yeah. The Sagrada Concepción or something? No, nah, Concepción is sacred conception. Come oh, on. Concepción. The Immaculate. Immaculate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Immaculate Conception. Bears Jaguars, this Sunday, 9.30 a.m. Pumped. We'll see Sunday. you guys at the pubs while we'll we're having large, large points. Catch me at the Globe. Man, yeah, what, I gotta get some English beer. Well, the Globe has nothing but English beer. It's a English pub. And sufficient chips. It plays all the Premier League. Some Premier football, but we're talking the NFL. Tottenham. Hotspurs. Why don't they have uh, Berhalter coach the Bears this time around? This game, you know, just like... <laughs> this London yeah. game? Uh, uh, yeah. I, he's probably gonna have more calm nerves... He's like the pitch is a little wet. <laughs> I know this pitch guy. Be careful. Trust me. He's gonna be a, he's gonna be great on the field goals. The pitch <laughs> is a little he's, wet. He should be invited. He should just they're be there. Win, they're gonna win on field goals. They're gonna yeah, field goals. Field goals. Field goals. Field goals. Field goals. They're gonna go for all field goals. As soon as they get to the half yeah. yard line, they're like, "Fuck it, Kick Taylor, it. Kick you're it. kicking field goals now. Get out they of here." Know how this uh, Trust me, I've seen this pitch. Sorry, Taylor, get out here now. Hit this between that upright. I never understood that. I mean, maybe one of our listeners can tell us. And I, I just don't get it. I guess, why can't the punter also be the kicker? Uh, yeah, that's a good one. I, I also wonder. It's just it's the position. The, but you're kicking. One is finesse, I get it. And one is brute power. But as the game has evolved, I feel like said player can do both. There's got to be some inhuman guy that could do both. Yeah. And then, yeah, what if like for some of them, if you some do them monster. like a free kick, you get an extra point. Instead of two points, it's three points. Why? Because he free kicked it. He let the ball drop in the middle of the air and then, and then kicked it. I want to see that. I want to see the yeah, Bears so. win in PKs. A dynamic <laughs> football. <laughs> this whole game is going to change just based on our recommendations. And I want the Packers to get derelegated. Yeah, they're going to the second division. <laughs> we'll send them down to the, or sorry, we'll send them up to the CFL. Right, right. Get up there. Join your colleagues. You love Canada so much. You're so close. <laughs> Canada, eh? Hey, that's pretty sick. <sighs> looking, up, looking up the top goalies? Uh, yeah, so the MLS, uh, well, a couple days ago, what was it? Was it like a couple Are we weeks talking ago, about the actually. Jersey things again? We couldn't come find oh, any of the stats? No, no. This was a while back. Never mind. We were like Jersey sales, and it was like, well, how many did they sell? Unknown. Uh, Actually, I thought that's what like I said. I just thought I found it. I did not. <laughs> the rest are being donated to Florida right now. <laughs> that's a bad joke, I guess. I don't know. There are no bad jokes here at the QFTV podcast marquee minute. Only bad takes. Take two. <laughs> cut. No. Not cut. Take two. What does he run? Mike Go? Chad, what do we have? Cut. Cold cuts, hot cakes, or hot cuts? And, I don't remember. 
Okay, yeah, it's so, so confusing. Cakes, <laughs> so, so though I could go for some hotcakes. I just read a stand. Actual hotcakes or pancakes? Hotcakes. Hotcakes, way. Con pinche, all the shit they have in Mexico, the fucking. Some cajeta, yo. The fucking. Dulce de leche, some fucking sprinkles on the bed. Fucking fresas, preservadas. Oh, so here's an interesting observation. I feel like here on this side of the border, pancakes are a morning thing, but in Mexico, pancakes are a night snack. Night time, right. Have you noticed snack. that? Yeah. Well, they don't have they don't have funnel cakes, so their funnel cakes are hot cakes. Yeah, that makes they, sense. They got the masa, they got the little like dough ready, and then they just. I've never seen hot drop it onto cakes the well, yeah, in the morning. Okay, you know? They don't have funnel cake, but Unless we food. got churros. It's like kind of like. Uh, Stick for the cake. But there's churros at like the fair. At the fair they sell the hot cakes because that's like you want that fresh little fucking little pancake dough on the hot buttery griddle with the Why are they called pancakes? Yeah, the fucking all that other good stuff. Uh, so oh, you, you need to do it in a pan. You have to <laughs> the pan is round. They should be called funnel. They should be called round cakes. Why aren't they called pan muffins? <laughs> or like, I don't know. <laughs> Sweet pizza. Sweet tortilla. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet tortilla. Pizza. <laughs> tortilla dulce, wey. ¿Qué es la tortilla dulce? Have no, you guys wey. ever heard uh, caldo de tortilla? I have. Yeah. I've had it. It's also known as caldo azteca. Mm. Yeah, that's what I heard in Morris. But it's the same shit. No, it's not Do I get down? Shit. Not really. I'm not a fan. Who was I, that? <coughs> I feel like it's made up. What was, um, you had a crazy hot... Your boy told you that all mole is salsa, but what was it? Uh, yeah, like I, he, I went over to his house and he was like, oh, we're having mole with beef. And I was like, what the fuck is this Mole with beef? Yeah, that's why I was like, this guy's talking about mole with beef. I've never had mole with beef. I thought it was always like chicken. Yeah. Although, regionally, there has been like mole with I was with like, squirrel. there's no reason you can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've had it on rabbit. There's rabbit. Yeah, yeah, that sounds that's delicious. Yeah, rabbit. I get down with the ra mole rabbit. Turkey is my Turkey, favorite. Turkey is a really good I one. like that game in there. No, there's, a, there's, the, there's no reason you, should, you couldn't, I guess. But the thing was, it wasn't mole what was served technically. But I think in his region... Was it pipian? In his region, it's just called mm -hmm. mole. Okay. Yeah, it, was chin, it was like, it was a uh, bisten salsa negra. So it was just a guisado. Yeah, like a little guisado. Yeah. And he was like, oh, there's a mole. Salsa negra. And I, like, then I asked him, I was like, well, this isn't really mole. This is like, you know, like salsa Why negra. wasn't it mole? And he... Because it wasn't like the mole sauce that I expected. Was it more of a watery consistency? No, yeah. no, no. It was pasty. So then what's, it was what's guisado, the issue? Did it have chunks of like cebolla or anything in it? Or? No, just maybe like the seeds. I guess the little black okay. seeds sometimes you see on that chile. Maybe I feel like it's a mole. Really? I think it was just I mean, I that it was on beef it. that was unusual, I would have right? to have it to oh. confirm it was 100%. But well, continue. Well, it just tasted like guisado meat to me. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. yeah, but that's like, was that the like meat or was that the mole? Imagine, well, try the replacing mole? the chicken breast or chicken With thigh that meat? in the meat and then the mole on top of it. Because I've made that same, so I've made the dish, I've made that, I made a dish where it's like guisado sauce and I use that same like chile with beef and I've made it with chicken and I would not call that a mole because it doesn't taste like the traditional like... You know, yeah, like the it, mole ranchero, the mole it what's in it. Yeah, it needs chocolate for sure. Yeah, yeah, see, none of that. Like, like, there wasn't that. Especially if it's a dark mole. If it's a green mole, I get it. It had none of that. Yeah, it, but like, it, was, it needs chocolate. It was like chile based. It needs peanuts. Uh, um, I want to say it was like chile and sesame maybe like. Seeds. I, it might have been like peanut and chile. Peanut, based. Needed peanut, needed peanut. I want to say it was mole. like peanut and chile. And then, like, chile's got to be like four or five different kinds of chiles. Fuck, it might some, have been a mole, I don't know. Like some dried, some toasted, some... Well, yeah. he went on to explain that, that in his, like, region of well, family... Where's his region? The Puebla? Oh, That's okay. really far yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. They, they're... Th so, I will that say... They, that, they, that they just... That they just refer to most sauces that come with me as a mole... That makes sense. ...of a different flavor, color, yeah. type, and that it just had different meat. Yeah. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Makes cause like, sense. oh, no, we don't make that mole sauce with this, like chicken we make the other mole sauce with that chicken because think and about I've it guisado one. is when you say a guisado you're yeah. not referring to what it is you're referring to the cooking like technique asado? like the cooking like technique asada, is like, like a guisado yeah. you know like that's the cooking technique you're using is a you estás guisando la comida yeah you're frying it like pan fry and then adding like the whatever sauce over it to get all those nice little fats incorporated yeah. 
And then simmering it down to like a, a, a thick consistency. Oh no, I'm sorry. You know, earlier I asked if, I, if you had caldo de tortilla. It was, um, I think it was like caldo de leche, which has tortilla. Caldo what? de leche? Yeah, where it's pretty much like cereal, but fuck? with no cereal, you put a tortilla uh, tiritas in there. Have you guys heard of nieve de leche quemada? How, how do no. you serve that? Do you serve that cold? hot or cold? Cold? I think you could have it like an oatmeal and cook and uh, keep it warm, but I, I would imagine cold. Or as cold as you could you get know, milk. Take this with whatever, I will say this. Corn tortillas are generally sweeter. Yeah. And, you know, you warm one up, throw it in some hot milk. I don't know. I've never had this, but it doesn't sound that bad. You know, it kind of turns into some kind of porridge That's what I'm saying. So I was like, oh, when you said oatmeal, I was like, ah. You know? It like clicked for me. And I was like, this guy's right. It's like oatmeal. What, what is this leche? Like, or like, what are you talking <coughs> Yeah, what did you ask us? Yeah. Have we ever had like... Wow. Leche de nieve. Leche de nieve. Le nieve de leche quemada. Wow. That makes sense. It, it sounds like some Oaxaca kinda shit. Kind of good. Yeah. It is from Oaxaca. Yeah. No some shit. Oaxaca. Yeah, it just makes yeah. sense. They smoke everything. Yeah, some Oaxaca. <laughs> they love it. Uh, it tastes like cajeta. Of course. Of I course. I haven't had yeah. it. just what it's described as. Um, so they probably make the milk base It's probably first. like sugar and burnt and milk. Then, and then... Once it's all like, yeah, once it's all burnt and like mm -hmm. sugared up, then they like, then they put it to make they it ice cream. A, they also had a smoked a nuez and canela to it. You could, we could probably simulate that here too. Like we had a smoker. Cinnamon. Have you guys had boudin, I think? Boudin? Cinnamon pecan. Boudin? Yeah. It's right there on that list. Is that like Spanish for pudding? Uh, <laughs> boudin. I, it's like boudin. Uh, way. Like no, a no, no, no. Boudin. Or like a sugary. I've never heard of it. Have you guys had chiles Budi? nogados? Chiles nogados? No, chile and nogado. No. Uh, what are you, it are is you, like a traditional Mexican dish. Are you even speaking Spanish right yeah. now? No. Pull it up. Chile and nogado? Up, Jamie. What's a nogado? Chile and nogado. Mm. It's like a oh. white. Yeah, now I know. Whoa. Chiles cool. and nogado. So, uh, nogada, oh, sorry. And chiles nogada. and nogada. It's like uh, relleno, but more stuff? Yeah, or? chiles and nogada. It's like a chile yeah, relleno. I've had that before, yeah. But it's supposed to mess with like, the flag, so it has like oh. uh, grenatina yeah. on it. Is that pomegranate? Yeah, yeah. it is. Wow. That's um, not my favorite, honestly. Okay. I don't know. It's just not my favorite. Chiles and nogada. Okay, chiles and nogada. Uh, it's a traditional Mexican dish. It's supposed to be, supposedly, like to celebrate. Um, the signing the of the independence in Mexico. Turbo? Yeah, turbo. <laughs> uh, the signing turbo of the independence. This. It has Granada on it to be the red part of the flag. It's got. Um, uh, oh, I it's don't the know flag. what the white sauce cool. is made out of. Yeah, it's supposed to be the flag. Yeah, the Mexican flag. It's got the molida with cerdo inside and res. That's kind of interesting. It's interesting. Yeah, it's like a chile relleno, but it's like meat with sausage. It goes on. I think we. No, yeah, it goes. Yeah, yeah it goes. Yeah. It's a chile pasilla, uh, chile manzano too, chile per, pera, chile durazno. What the fuck? They have all kinds of chiles? You can do I mean, that's what I'm saying. When you make a mole, you need like four or five different chiles at least. Yeah. And seeds. Because there's like Holy pumpkin shit. seeds there's and some, This is like a fucking mole. Sesame <laughs> seeds, <laughs> peanuts, <laughs> those are seeds. To the people the that do it, every family oh, okay, has okay, their okay, own okay, combination. Yeah. So yeah. it tells you what goes, at, what goes on the inside. So the, in the relleno, like in the inside of this chile. Where are you looking at this? I don't trust the fuck. Like, is this off the dome? Or what? Like, you just know recipe yeah. like that. <laughs> I have it written down in my note. The fuck? Yeah, it's fucking weird. <laughs> I have a recipe. Continue. Oh, you have an astute knowledge. You, no, you, you, cl recipe. you clearly should be a chef. <laughs> I want to try it. I, I don't know if I want to cook it myself. I want to try it before I cook it. Somewhere where they say it's good, but I've heard nobody likes it. I don't like it. I've it had doesn't it. You've had it? Yes. Okay. I don't like it. Not worth doing? Listen, man, to each their own. I mean, it's not... I've done some... I've eaten some more disgusting shit. So, like... Wow. I'm not gonna fucking judge if you eat one of these things. Like, it's like, yeah, more that's fine. Try it out. More disgusting shit. Did you eat... Uh, disgusting by societal terms. Did you eat live my own person. What's this? Like an old boy? I did eat octopus like an old boy. That That is accurate. And you still think this is gross? And then you whooped a bunch of ass that in was the hallway, delicious. right? I would never, ever... Say that eating a live octopus was gross. It was I delicious. I like cooked octopus. What about what about so, eating bird spit? You know? So Did imagine you try the this. Bird spit? No, right? Imagine this. Imagine you eat the best cooked octopus you've ever had in your life. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this it's is. It's the perfect uh, I don't even like know what to think of delicious this, bro. tenderness. 
And it's just fresh lobs, right, fresh, right, fresh right, octopus. So we're looking at mole, right? And I go mole poblano, right? Yes. And I'm looking at... You're Deepos. definitely on your phone over there. Stop fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I'm looking it up real quick. I looked it up. Why all right, all right. I, I want to look up this mole thing, right? And it's, it has a tipos de mole poblano. And it's got mole blanco, mole de queso. Have you ever heard of mole de fucking queso? No. That's so weird. Uh, mole I, don't, verde, I don't proclaim to be a mole expert. Yeah, I'm mole not a mole, mole prieto, like mole that. negro, mole rojo, pipián rojo, pipián verde. Menudo. I want to know what the why difference is between menudo, mole prieto and mole negro. I just don't understand why mole menudo is there. Maybe menudo is just another name for a different kind of mole that we don't know. <laughs> so of. then is that right to say that any kind of fucking sauce in Mexico is a mole? No, motherfucker. Or what? Like, it depends on who's saying it. Yeah. It's, you know, just uh, verbiage. For some people, it's a guisado. We talked about this. Lo que los identifica como molienda de chiles y especies como base de su preparación. That's what a mole is. Yeah. Chiles, like chiles and, spices. and spa- spices. So chiles I guess that is, yeah. All, all salsas are moles, but not all moles are salsas. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's all just like how moles. all but ravens are crows, but not all crows are ravens. Yeah. That's exactly like that. Just like all, all of Caifanes Ooh. is the cure, but not all the cure is Caifanes. <laughs> This is, I want to try some of these weird moles. We're going we're gonna to do it on the show. We're doing mole blanco. Yeah, I uh, heard of pozole blanco and it was fire. Mole we got to go to Mexico and get like on a mole tour. That's yeah, true. the mole tour of Mexico, you guys. We got to go to that. different states. Uh, we're going to do full If anyone parts. wants to sponsor us. Definitely. A little us. goes a long way. We can mole. provide for ourselves. Yeah, uh, link down below some places we should go on this mole th- tour. Here we go. Mole Tour 2025, coming in February. Maybe Mole Tov? <laughs> mole Tov? Mole Tov. Mole Tov. Mole Tov. Mole Tov. Mole Tov. Right this is the Mole Mole Tov. And Tov is spelled like T-O-U-V. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to write that one down. The Mole Tov Tour. Mole Tov. Are we going to bring Mole Tov with us? That would be dope. They should. They should perform they everywhere. Come, yeah, we every sample. city we go to, we'll tour with them. Uh, mm, very good. We'll, do, like, we'll, we'll have a pop-up with our merchandise. <laughs> we have some, like, uh, some QST merchandise out there. By the way, I, I do like sweet mole, but I do prefer my mole to have more heat than sweet. I like both. Okay. I like, I like more heat than sweet. I do not like the I super do like sweet mole. I like the salty mole. Also, I don't like pipián. Because people are like, oh, no, this one's spicy. This one's got a lot of heat. And it's like a sweet mole with a lot of heat. Mm-hmm. And that's fine that it's like a sweet mole with a lot of heat. But I want a salty mole mm. more than I would like a sweet mole. Okay. But I'll well, take both. Just, I think the problem happened when people stopped using cacao, like actual using cocoa beans. Chocolate yes. and adding piloncillo yep. to it. Yep, yep. And then it's like, it's just too sweet, man. Or you got to bring it down. It's already diabetes. I don't need extra diabetes. Bring it down, you know? You know? It, it, it definitely should be brought down a notch. Um, it's a little too um, obnoxious. Salado, I like that one. Yeah, I generally tr- tend to gear towards like the... the and a comfortable heat. I don't want to be dying either, but like there's, no. all, there's good levels of heat. Especially in mole, because yeah. it's like it's... It coats everything uh, and like everywhere it, it gets. It's so, die, you can so put oily the, you and you viscous. Can some, you can add some rice to it if it's really like Oh, yeah. That yeah, is yeah. ideal. Yeah. yeah. Some chicken. Yeah. yeah. And you could <laughs> just cut into that richness. Yeah, that's why I do. Mole, 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 why? mole, 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 why mole, 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 mole. Why is it mole like a natural sauce on like wings? I want to see, uh, I want to see mole wings or something. Mole wings. That's interesting. Well, Maybe that's thing. where we should start. We should hey, start I, Mole Wings, the truck. So I've copyrighted Mole Wings. We're going to be the, the uh, touring with Mole Tov. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the Mole Tov tour, it's Mole Tov, us, the Mole Wing truck. Uh, we're going to have QRTV shirts out there. Yeah. We're going to be in Guanajuato. We're going to go to Guadalajara. We're going to be in Oaxaca. Puebla. Puebla. We're hitting up all, all the Mole, mole states. states. We're going to Michoacán. We're going to be in... in, in Sal- uh, oh, we really I went off board <laughs> there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's really... yeah. You know, uh, we're going to light one more up. <laughs> this is what you come for here at the Marquee Minute <laughs> give the QFTV it, podcast. Give it another 15, 20 minutes. Probably wrap it up. Are you feeling it? Feeling it? Just so you guys know, you guys can ride along with us, partake, enjoy, inhale. Should, should we get an official, like, studio phone number where they can call Ooh, in? 
Get them yeah, on the line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get you guys on the line. Oh, man. that would be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. Uh, we're live Wednesdays at midnight. I still have my two, three a.m. Home line. Four a.m. Let's yeah. Let's get uh. Let's get the callers on. Yeah, we'll bring the home line down here. We'll set it up. We'll uh. We'll get some callers on the line. It's, you know? it's Miller time. Oh. Just like, real casual, like we were talking the whole time. Just you just vocalize. You just go. Tss. I think we could get Lou Canellis up in here. I love me some Lou Canellis. He's good. What about Carmen from Carmen DeFalco? Carmen DeFalco? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, no offense to Carmen if he's listening or cares. I'm nobody, but, you know, <laughs> he, I, he seems like he used to be a really cool guy, but now probably not so much, but not for the worst, you know what I mean? He's got kids and a family and shit. Through no you fault say of his own. He can't party, and then, like, next week, he's going to come out with us and have, like, 100 drinks. You guys I mean, he parties. Don't get, get me wrong. Go but he's, you know, he does like, I can fucking party. I can <laughs> party. Are we trying to have Big Cat up in here? I Big Cat party. Williams? <laughs> I'm down. I don't think he fits. <laughs> he's like, I can party. Cat Williams? Ooh, Cat Williams fits anyway. Ooh, Cat Williams would be a great guest. Cat Williams on the... Pam Pan? Podcast. What you think about? Now why is he called Cedric the Entertainer? He does not dance. He does not sing. And he does not entertain. Or the Cat Williams tried to warn me he about Diddy. He warned us about Diddy. He warned us. He was like, hey man, don't trust Diddy. No. Ain't nobody trust Diddy. It was 2002 and I was, I was waiting for a bus and Cat Williams told me to wait yeah, for uh, Diddy. Wait, don't we have that in one of our yeah. the podcasts? Uh, we do. The diddler talk. Hey, can we get a sponsorship from a beer, a big like beer company or something? We don't even need a big one. We can go with a small beer company. That way, it's like more. Oh, I'll take less restrictions. I'll take homebrew too. Like. Less restrictions. For just twenty dollars a month, you too can feed a lowly podcast, <laughs> trying to make it big, in a. Large, already incredibly saturated large market. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh shucks! Come back. Don't tell me where we're, we're at. <laughs> Welcome back. We're back. Where do we go? Do we leave or something? Yeah, we left. This past uh, weekend, I saw Eraserhead, a uh, David Lynch movie. I love Eraserhead. It was interesting, man. It was, it was out there, you know. Um, you know, that's obviously uh, David Lynch's style, but I had never seen Eraserhead, and I was like, ooh. It's a classic, man. Yeah. Very strange. What Speaking about? of weird, old, strange shit, I saw something strange the other day. They remade Nosferatu in color. Oh, I've heard of it. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's actually... Always was pretty damn good. And the coloration doesn't look like... It just looks a little animated, which obviously it is, you mm -hmm. know? But that's about it. Otherwise, good to go. It's a double low. Oh, yeah. You already know. Who's smoking that in, though? I had some hydroponic recently, homegrown. It was pretty good. Shout out to uh, Brother Brian for providing. Brother Brian. Brother, Brother Brian. Brian. Brother Brian. Soon to be Father Brian. Father Brian. Father Brian. Father Brian. He's That's great, man. I love a man devoted to his faith, also devoted to the marijuana. Gotta be. Oh, Padre. He's, he's, he's not a, a priest or anything. He's just, um, he's just a friend. <laughs> his first name is Brother. Yeah. <laughs> had, you, had you guys ever... Uh, I, I wanted to do this thing where I want to name my kid, uh, first name Doctor, la uh, middle name Julius, and then last name Zavala. I don't know. I just thought it'd be a good way for Doctor Julius him to get jobs Zavala. with his yeah. name being Doctor. Yeah. This is Doctor Julius. Is this your name or your title? It could be both. <laughs> both. What are you a doctor in life? <laughs> Having a name. What does that mean? It's patented. W where Literally, you like? I was born a doctor in life. Were weren't people in like the 30s, like called like sergeant as a first name or something. 
Oh, wait. That just sounds like a dog. <laughs> Sergeant. Other than the title, you know? Mm-hmm. Sargento. Si, mi comandante. A mí no me andes con tus mamás. Que sabes. That's a great movie. Comment down below if you know that quote. <laughs> That's a great one. That is a good one. Aquí yo no soy tu friend ni nada. Bragging rights to the first person that comments down below that quote. <laughs> Free shots of Lord. Okay, I don't think you can legally do that. Oh, Lord. But if you do. <laughs> Free shots, my lord. <laughs> I had some malort recently. I, did they change the the flavor up because it seemed sweeter? I think so. I feel like it's a lot more. Uh, I think they're not telling us. But they I added the right. cicadas <laughs> to all of them. No man, it's weird. Did you see, they I, got fined. I feel like it's not the same. You felt that too? Mm-hmm. I, I felt like it was a little too sweet. Like it wasn't like that before. Yeah, it was. It was way more bitter and astringent. Yeah. Like. And people hate that, but that was the whole charm. I'm an alcoholic. I love that because Gross. even though bitter astringent may seem bad to you, to me it just tastes like grapefruit pith. And, and I fucking love grapefruit. Pith and all. What the fuck? Pith. <laughs> this is a reminder of Mike Tyson. Pith. <laughs> pith. Sounds like Mike Tyson. I love grapefruit pith. How was Mike? How was yeah, Mike? I just uh, I had a shower. With my Iron friend, Mike. And it was so noticeably good. sweet. Uh, he's got his own. Uh, he's got his own little wraps that are fucking pretty dope. I love those. Fucking Tobacco wraps. free. They don't sell those no more. You know, Vani had some. Banned. No, he said he got some. Banned. What do you, what do you, what you mean? Banned. Cause? Banned. 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 Rest in peace. Let me see. Actually, hold on. No, I'm just kidding. I was told that at a dispensary, at a, at a, not a dispensary, at a weed shop. Yeah, but they were probably just the ones not carrying that shit. So they were like, fuck you, bro. We ain't got that. Uh, we got these, though. Pick one of these uh, right over discontinued. here. Discontinued. Discontinuado. Confirmed? Nah, nobody's saying Have you guys ever had his, um, his like, gummy ear that has THC in it? No. I have not. I've had those those wraps though the the, the tobacco free blunts those are fire those are just all around fire like can't beat those. I don't care they're like king size too. Right? I don't care if they're bad. Wow, oh man, they're supposed to be infused with toad. Tequeris, hey, tequeris, man. Maybe that's why they don't have them no more because the toad was bad. The toad was bad. Got a lick toad. These are the wrong toads, yeah, man. Toad man. Do you have anything lined up? For the boxing club, any da- daily hike club boxes? We got the um, October Halloween box coming up. You really? Ooh. Are you guys gonna invite no, me to that no, one? Or? No, we're actually releasing that one for Christmas. Oh, okay. Uh, no, Is it a it, timing uh, thing? Fuck or? It, yeah, fuck it. I'll release it on YouTube. We can add it into the YouTube version. What's going on? For the fans right now, just because they listen for to the it, they're getting it. That's it. Yeah, they're sold out, dude. You can't buy these. You can't buy the, the Tysons. Futurola Tyson, right? I just, uh, okay, okay. Futurola. I've looked at the first two or three places and they don't have them. They ain't got They might still have them somewhere else. Straight. Futurola stock there. Straight up, they ain't got them. Futurola. My Tyson. Oh, we got them right here. 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 Do you think you'd be able to hang out with Mike Tyson? No. I think I could, man. That. I think I could hang with Iron Mike. He's a strange fighter. You think he... I don't know, man. I heard he's crazy. I mean, yeah, of course he's crazy. He bit a man's ears, for God's sake. <laughs> I try the to fuck? Hang out. I try to hang out with someone <laughs> and bite someone's ear. Of course he's crazy. Most most people who he's bite my ears... He's kind of crazy. You bite ears, motherfucker? No. <laughs> fight? But I fuck with motherfuckers that do. With a sport... So, like, you're going to be bring me Suarez too? Might as well bring Luke Suarez on this. Nah, so. see, that, there's a difference. This guy was headbutting Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. Lee Suarez just bites motherfuckers randomly that's, for no that's, reason. They were engaged. It was, a defensive, it was a defensive play. It wasn't randomly. Yeah, but on their backs? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, he was stopping them. It wasn't random. He had an intention to cheat. I think, all right, once, like... And random, in my opinion. One's a combat sport and then the other one's, like, you know, come on. You know, not... No need to hurt people. Yeah, definitely. Good. You 
Did Mike Tyson bit someone's ear in, in a, a boxing? In a combat, combat sport. sport. That's a combat the sport where you fight with your mittens on your face. Yeah, but they go yeah. gladiator at any okay. minute. But, but the guy's head a post. You also have a headbutt. UFC either. has not done that. I would, I would expect that from the headbutt either. No, no, That's was, all I'm saying. He's wild, but... UFC, you know, you're supposed to bleed, and I don't expect that from you. You ain't supposed to headbutt either. have not done that. And old boy was headbutting. That's wild. That's wild. Don't you hate on my boy Mike Tyson, bro. I love Iron Mike. He bit someone's ear, It's my ride to die, bro. Although I have heard of those little gummies he sold, a little bite. You know, I think holy fit field for gave him. They're, they're cool. <laughs> yeah, they came out of the did, commercial for the little blunts. Yeah, that, is it the Ante and the no, shit no, together? No, not the blunts. It was, a, it was the gummies. The gummies that were little, they were called uh, the, a, van, a van or something. The ears? Yeah, yeah, they were the little ears. A Vander gummies or something stupid like that. <laughs> it was just hilarious. A Vandy gun. <laughs> and weren't they shaved like his ears? Yeah. That's what he just said. Oh shit. I'm high as fuck. <laughs> We're on the podcast live on the KSU podcast. Operating. Everybody. These live. drinks ain't help. This tequila ain't helping either. There you go. Sometimes you Tequila? Gotta lose. How about uh. We're gonna be signing off. No, signing back. <laughs> No signing back. We're signing back on signing today. You can't stop us. Three hours ago, Israel has just sent. Long <laughs> what what time, mate? Oh, I just watched Civil War. It's that the was morning. that was a crazy movie. It was riveting. I just wanted to use that word. Riveting. <laughs> riveting. Yeah. Taylor Swift hey, donates what was that five million movie to you US her kids. Oh, oh, that movie was captivating. Everybody, <laughs> Everybody should watch Oddity. it. Oddity. 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 Oddity was fantastic. Check it out, man. Pretty, pretty fucking good. Ah, pretty fantastic. Goddamn good. Oddity was just pa in your face. Good. Yeah. That one's really good. Happy Halloween. I didn't expect that. <laughs>